Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming my review and also lip swatches on the NYX Professional Makeup Lip Lusters. I don't know about you guys, but I've actually never heard about the lip lusters. I didn't even know this was like a thing from NYX. I've never heard anybody even talk about it. So this is very new to me and hopefully this video will be helpful to you guys if it's new to you as well. I have seven of the shades and these all came in our NYX Face Award boxes. And I thought like seven shades, that's a good amount to do like a whole video on it and like a whole lip swatch video so here I am today doing this video and hopefully you guys will find it helpful so with that being said let's go ahead and get started with my review okay so like I mentioned I have seven of these shades but I'm only gonna take one out and just like hold it for reference I don't want this rattling throughout the video but this is what the lip lusters look like it's just in your standard kind of lip gloss liquid lipstick packaging. These are seven US dollars and in New Zealand you can get it for $18.50. So $18.50 for what it is, you know, a lip gloss, a lip tint. It is pretty pricey in my opinion um, compared to the soft matte lip creams which is about $13 New Zealand dollars. On the official NYX website there are 12 shades and like I mentioned before I have seven so I'm only missing five. Also claimed on the NYX website is that it glides on like a gloss and it adjusts to a lip tint that lasts. So what I'm getting from that, it's kind of like a hybrid between a lip gloss and a lip tint and that claim is the perfect claim ever because it describes this product perfectly. With that being said, let's move along to my thoughts on the product. So this is pretty much like a hybrid between a gloss and a lip tint. Such a weird product and I think, I feel like I don't have anything like this in my collection. I've never tried a formula like this so it's very different and it's kind of hard for me to like explain it. Like when I first applied it I was like wow this is like very very opaque. The texture of it felt like a lip tint. You know it didn't feel like a gloss where it was very thick and like gloopy and like a very high high shine of a gloss. So let me just swatch like when I first applied it on my lips I was like wow this is like so opaque and so pigmented. And as you can see it is quite glossy but it's not like glossy glossy like Champagne Mommy from Colourpop or something you know. It's like an opaque gloss. That was very interesting. I think with this formula there are two ways that you could wear this. So you could wear it like this. Like a lip gloss you just apply it like a normal layer of it and it's very opaque and it looks kind of like a gloss. And then the other way you could apply it is actually just Put a little bit on your lip and then just dab it out with your ring finger or any finger but I would recommend the ring finger and that's where you will get the tinted effect. And I personally love that where you can get you know the opaque intensity and wear it as like a lip gloss or you can tone it down for everyday wear, more natural wear and blot it down like that and I think it looks beautiful and I think both ways it looks amazing especially for more of the crazier colors if you don't like those crazier colors you definitely can just blot it down and it's super super wearable so in the cutaway I'm wearing Juicy Peach and that's like a very bright peachy shade and when you apply it like at its opaqueness it's very in your face but when you blot it down it's very wearable it's very everyday wear so I love that about it and I think it's very unique to me I don't I seriously don't have a formula like this also I want to mention there are two concerns that I have with it and this might not be for everyone uh, first there is like a scent. I want to say it smells like strawberry. I don't know about you guys but when you were younger did you guys ever have like Panadol in the liquid form and it was like the strawberry flavor. It like smells like artificial strawberries. It's not like the best scent in the world. I prefer the soft matte lip cream scent a lot better but it doesn't have a scent so if you are sensitive to that kind of stuff then just be aware of that. Also when I was actually applying this on my lips it didn't claim on the website or anything like it doesn't say that it's like a plumping lip gloss or lip tint but I felt this kind of tingly sensation on my lips and I only get that feeling when I wear lip plumpers. So I personally feel like there is some sort of ingredient in here that are in the lip plumpers because my lips felt like it was tingling and it was kind of going numb and that's the feeling that I get when I wear a lip plumper. It's so weird but they don't claim it anywhere. It could be honestly just my lips just reacting up, I don't know, reacting to this formula. I don't know if it's actually making my lips look bigger or what but I feel 
I feel that tingly sensation. So if you have very sensitive lips, I would be just a little bit aware of that. I don't know if this happened to anyone else because like I said, I've never seen any other reviews or anybody else talk about it. Also, I want to mention the applicator. I don't know what it is about NYX like lip products. Their applicators are just so good. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but a lot of the times with lip products, I will always just like apply it onto my lips and then I'll take a brush and I'll define it even more with the brush because I can't use an applicator for the life of me but with the NYX lip products I have no problem using the applicator straight on and just applying it like that something about this applicator just makes it so easy to apply and it, I don't go out of my lip line it's, I don't think this applicator is anything revolutionary I feel like a lot of other brands will have this similar applicator but yeah for this formula I think it's really great it's like a doe foot applicator and it kind of just pinches into the middle and it's very bendable so you can really get around the corners but yeah these are just super comfortable on the lips they're very lightweight I don't even like really notice that I have anything on my lips right now I hope they come out with more colors because I mean 12 shades compared to the soft matte lip creams I think they have like 41 shades only 12 is not the most and I hope they will come up with more like neutral shades because a lot of the shades are very you know are very bright but like I said, if you do blot it down, you can make them a lot more wearable. But yeah, I want to see more like nude tones, more rosy tones, because that's just up my alley. If I had to rate it, I probably would give it an 8 out of 10. It's losing those two points just because I personally don't like the smell, which is an opinion. Not everybody has the same kind of nose as me. And second, I don't like that tingly feeling. It makes my lips feel a little bit irritated. But like once it's on, like I don't have that feeling anymore. It's just on application where I feel that feeling. So those two things kind of just like takes the points away. So that's why I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. So yeah, that pretty much does it for my review portion. Let's move along to the lip swatches. So now that you guys saw all seven of the lip lusters on my lips, I want to share with you my favorites. So I have three favorites here and I feel like this won't be too much of a surprise to you guys. So the first one is obviously the one I'm wearing right now. It is a Rustic Me Range. Me Rage. My next favorite is Juicy Peach and then my last favorite is Ruby Couture. These are the ones that I personally would just wear on the everyday. I mean the other shades are beautiful as well but these are the shades that I will like put in my top drawer and wear the most often because like I said I love the formula. So I forgot to mention in my review portion but the shade Violet Glass it is a little bit patchy. So throughout the line there is a little bit of inconsistency with these shades but these kind of shades like these brighter 
of fun shades they are a lot harder to get right um, and it's kind of hard to avoid patchiness I feel like with a lot of these kind of lip tint shades like these it's very hard for it not to be patchy so I'm not really blaming the formula or NYX I think it's just this shade is very hard to get right I'm pretty sure you guys could tell from these swatches that it was patchier than the rest but yeah those were my favorites and that pretty much wraps up my review that's everything on my notes if you guys did enjoy this review and lip swatch video be sure to give it a thumbs up for me I would appreciate it so so much my lips go through a lot in these videos so I seriously would appreciate it if you did give it a thumbs up also also, don't forget to comment down below your favorite shade out of the bunch that I swatched today. I also want to know your thoughts on the formula. Do you guys like it as well? What do you guys think? I would love to hear your opinion down below because seriously, I haven't heard anybody else talk about this formula. So I would love to hear a second opinion. And yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!